have like entitled our piece the evolution of the wildcat it is very clearly a sphinx we've gone with an overall egyptian sort of theme out there we have the nile river <laughs> and a pyramid so there we have it. Oh, this is the sun up there. Shining down. So, wildcats. It paints you a picture. It was 2013. The winds from the North Pole blew down. Something known as a polar vortex. It was cold. So cold. Those poor freshmen of 2013. They froze to death. Some kids died in that polar vortex. Um, <laughs> yeah, little did you know, it's because they were the quiet freshmen, you just never met them. <laughs> we got buried in snow. Until this last summer, this last winter. Snow. Man right here. <laughs> the snow man right here, he's a legend. He's a myth. Nobody knows where he came from. But he stopped the polar vortex from coming down. He is now on campus. He appeared out of nowhere. Some say that he punched out the Sasquatch. <laughs> Some say he drank with Santa Claus. Some say he even partied with the Invisible Man. Wow. He found him. That is what makes this one of the most amazing creatures here. He protects you in the winter. You really gonna destroy that? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see that we have such a wonderful turnout of prospective crewmates for the rigor mortis and that mortis with a Y after our good friend Morton Shapiro. <laughs> this fine vessel is named in his honor. And she may look like she's just made out of flimsy cardboard, but you know what? We built our vessels to sail these seven seas without regard to their chemical construct and ability. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway! We've got her a fine steam pipe and the greatest, most devastating cannon ever to be made out of cardboard. <laughs> this thing packs about 15 newtons. <laughs> <laughs> and this ram, oh, <laughs> like our our shipbuilding crew's finest achievement. So, whoever is back there with the hockey stick, <laughs> give her your worst. <laughs>